lab is natural selection analytic frequency in a rabbit population. And the purpose of today's lab is to simulate evolution in a population. Okay, let's first talk off, start off with talking what an allele is. An allele is an alternate form of a gene that is located at a specific position on a specific chromosome. Okay, so first let's start off with the introduction of the lab. Evolution may be described as the change in allelic frequencies of a gene pool over time. Natural selection can place pressure on specific phenotypes and can cause a change in frequencies of the alleles that produce the phenotype. In this activity, you will stimulate the effects of eagle predation on a population of rabbits where big G, big G represents the homozygous dominant condition for gray fur and big G, little g represents the heterozygous condition for gray fur and little g, little g represents the homozygous recessive condition for white fur. Beans will be used to represent alleles. One bean will represent the big G allele and that's that, and that is the dark beans, and one will represent the little g allele, and that's the white beans. Two beans will represent one rabbit. So now what you're going to do is count, count out 50 white beans and 50 dark beans. And after you count them out, you're going to put them both into a bag. Okay, now once they're in the bag, shake up the bag, and then without looking, pull two beans out. And these two beans will represent one rabbit. And so just keep pulling out beans until you have 50 pairs of beans. Okay, now that your beans are sorted in pairs, sort them into white fur and gray fur. And the white fur ones are little g, little g, which is homozygous recessive. And then the gray furs are the heterozygous, which is big G, little g, and um, homozygous dominant, which is big G, big G. Okay, once we got this sorted out now, we are going to simulate what really happens. So the white fur ones all get spotted by the eagles first, and so they all die. So just take all your white beans, all the white furred rabbits, and put them back into your bag. Okay, but that's not it. There's a few more that die still, too. So out of your gray fur rabbits, you're going to have to get rid of 25% of them because they are prone to disease and starvation and teenage boys with their guns. So we're going to have to figure out how much 25% of this is and remove it. Now we got to count up the number of gray fur rabbits we have. And so you just remember that two beans equal one rabbit. And so in our case, we have 37 rabbits. Okay, now we have some math to do with that. So we take the number of gray fur rabbits we have and we times it by 0.25 and that equals the number of rabbits we will kill. So in our case we had 37 rabbits and we times it by 0.25 and that equals 9.25 but we're going to round from the nearest whole number so that will be 9 rabbits we get rid of. Make sure you get rid of 9 of them, make sure it's random. So I got Now, what's left after we removed all of those is the remaining left rabbits that survived everything. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to separate your um, white beans and your brown beans. So just create two separate piles really quick and sort through all of them. Okay, now that they're all sorted out, you're going to count them up and record the numbers in the number column. Okay, now that we've counted ours, in our case, in my case, it turned, it turned out I had 20, um, 20 white beans, and those would go under the little g. And then and the, under the big g, the brown beans, I got 36. And don't forget to record those on a paper. Okay, now we're going to be going to finish your table for the first generation and figure out the percentage and frequency. Okay. So let's start with frequency. To find the frequency of the big G allele, what you're going to do is you're going to take your big G number and you're going to divide that by the big G number plus the little, D, little G number. So in our case, we had 36 of the big G allele, and we divided that by 36, which is the big G allele, plus 20, which is the little G allele, and that equals 0.64, and round just to two places. Okay, so 
once we got our frequency figured out, we could use that to figure out our percentage. And the percentage of big G is the frequency times by 100. So 0 0.64 times 100, which equals 64%. What you're going to do is one and you're going to subtract the frequency you found of big G. So in our case, it's one minus 0.64, which is the frequency of big G. And so the little g frequency is 0.36. Now onto the percentage of little g. What you're going to do is take 100 minus the percentage of big G. So in our case, it's 100 minus 64, which was the percentage of big G equal 36 for the percentage of little g. Now we're going to set up for the next generation. So you are not going to start with 50, 50 like you did last time. This time what you're going to start off with is what you had in the percentage of each allele type. So for the amount of brown beans we're going to have the next generation, it will be 64. And for the amount of white beans we're going to have for the next generation is 36. What you're going to do is you're going to count those out and put them in a bag. And after you're done with that, you're going to go through the whole process again of figuring out everything and dividing them out until you've done it, until you've got your fifth generation done and fig figured out. After that, you're going to fill out the questions at the back of the lab. And so you're going to graph the frequency throughout the generations of the big G allele. And you're going to graph the frequencies of the little g. And then don't forget to answer the questions.